Al. I'm the stylist for First Mile Services Johannesburg and today I'd like to share with you some creative and innovative ways you can keep yourself busy um, during the lockdown and also which could really help later on in the year if you're planning any events or special occasions even if you're doing a, a makeover at home and um, this is a really good way to to get a look together so we're, today we're going to talk about mood boards and um, they're really really fantastic especially when you're creating um, an event this is a great way to communicate your vision to your suppliers, to your coordinators, to your venue, to ensure that everyone's on the same um, wavelength. So I'm going to show you guys two different ways to do this. The first one, we're going to go digital. We're going to do it really easy, inexpensive. You can um, download free apps on the Play Store. And then the second one we're going to do is old school. We're going to grab some magazines. We're going to grab some project paper and some glue. And we're going to get started. Okay guys, so um, this is Nietzsche, the app that I'm using today, and it gives you a variety of templates that you could actually use to create your mood board. Um, so as you can see, there's so many to choose from. You can also make little calendars, it's really easy. I'm sure you can find something similar on um, the App Store, but I'm going with Nietzsche. So I found a little template that I quite like, it's very simple. I'm just deleting some of the elements I'm not going to use, and then I'm going to go into my photo album, my pins, where I saved all my um, pictures from Pinterest. And I'm basically now just going to maneuver and play um, to kind of get the layout I want. Um, it's a very, very simple app to use. It's literally just dragging and positioning. Um, and like I said, you can make use of Pinterest. Um, you can get all your images off Pinterest, um, whatever look you're going for. I've decided to kind of go for a, an event look um, inspired by our beautiful white slatted bar that you can see in the uh, left hand corner at the top um, so i'm basically just dragging and dropping and the fun thing is you could add little stickers like at the moment i'm adding um a few little uh, colored line stickers that is really helpful also when you want to show off the color palette you have in mind so that can kind of just show um you know the colors you want to play with and then i'm just going to add a little title that you can do when you press on the aa there um and you can just add that to the top you can even change the colors and play around with that um yeah, it's very, very simple. Um, like I said, you find this in the App Store. Um, yeah, and you can even add little, very interesting stickers to it. I'm, I'm adding a little delicious monster just to create an interesting little look and I'm done. So I'm going to save it. Um, I can go straight to my phone gallery under the Nietzsche um, app and there's my mood board. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna need is a A2 project paper our pair of scissors, a ruler, some glue, and your magazine of choice. So I've gone with a wedding magazine. I'm just gonna flip, flip through it and find the images that I find um, will best kind of sum up the look I'm going for for my event. And I'm gonna tear those out and then we can start cutting. Before we paste, let's try out a various layout and see what looks the best. And then you can get out the glue when you're happy and paste it to your project paper and you're done. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you're going to recreate a mood board at home or if you feel inspired by the video, please tag us in your creations. We would love to see what you've done um, during this time. And we'll also have a few interesting videos still coming your way during the lockdown period. If you guys have any ideas or videos you think we could do or you want to see, please let us know. Also, we'll be sharing some exciting news um, during the lockdown um, on video. So keep keep an eye on the page and we're looking forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have a great day.